Hey guys, my name is Akshay and welcome to App DNA where we talk about all things apps. So last time we took a look at an education management application and today we're going to take a look at something that's very much related to education management which is attendance management. Recording attendance and keeping track of it has always been a hassle for both teachers and students alike. Teachers, even today, in many parts of the world are still using a pen and paper system or a spreadsheet system to record attendance. With the help of Zoho Creator, a low-code application development platform. Today, we are going to build an application that will prove to be a viable alternative for both pen and paper and spreadsheets. Before we delve into the application, let's take a look at the three stakeholders or the three major roles for this particular application. They are the teachers, parents, and students. So teachers will be able to record attendance real time and update it. Students and parents will be able to keep track of the attendance. So let's get started. As usual, we are at the create application page of Zoho Creator and we're going to create an application from scratch. We'll name it Attendance 101. So here we are at the builder of our application and we need to create three basic forms, which are the class, students and teachers. Let's open a blank form and name it add class. We'll drag and drop a single line field and we'll rename it as class name. We'll drag and drop the date field for the start date and another date field for end date. Now it's time for us to create the next basic form which is the teacher form. So we'll name it as add teacher. For now, we will just collect all the basic information. So we'll drag and drop the basic fields such as name, email, and phone number. The next basic form is the student form. We'll name it as add student. We'll drag and drop the basic fields such as name, email, phone number, address, and joining date. We have added a lot of fields to the three basic forms. Now it's time for us to link each of these forms. We need to assign the teachers and students with their respective classes. So we'll start by adding students to their respective classes. Now we have to do the same in the add teacher form. We have to also assign a particular class with teacher and we also need to add the student list to the add class form. Now it's time for us to assign a class to a teacher. So we'll be using another lookup field. And here we'll give the name of the teacher. We'll name the field as assigned to. Now we need to use another lookup field and We'll be using the student name. We can name the field as student list. So we are done building all the basic forms. Now it's time for us to build the take attendance form. It's time for us to create the take attendance form. Uh, we could say that this is the most important form of our application. We'll be naming the form as take attendance. Let's drag and drop a lookup field, which is the class. Next, we'll be dragging and dropping a date field. Now it's time for us to drag and drop two lookup fields. One is a student and the other is a teacher. Here, we'll choose checkbox as the display type as the teacher will be marking attendance in this particular form. The display type of the teacher field will be in the normal drop down fashion. Done building all the important forms here. Now it's time for us to do a bit of deluge coding. We can easily take the attendance and it gets recorded. Let's start by adding a new workflow. So let's choose the form which is the take attendance form and we'll name the workflow as record. So it's time for us to add a new action. In the previous videos, we have done custom actions which are on success. This time we'll be doing it on load. It's time for us to fetch the teacher's email ID. So we'll be giving it as zoho.login user ID. The email ID is automatically fetched. 
we'll be disabling the teachers field so that only the teacher who is logged in will be able to record the attendance. So now we have fetched all the details from the add teacher form. Now it's important for us to fetch the details from the add student form. The teacher can mark the present students. So we'll be adding a new workflow. It is important to notice that we have done custom actions on success in our previous videos such as volunteer management and education management. Here we've done on load and now we're going to do on user input. We'll be selecting the field which is class. Let's give stu as the variable. Add student which is the name of the form. Class is equal to is equal to input dot class dot id since it's a lookup field dot get all. So we're done with the first line of our code. Now we have to fetch all the data from the add student form stu which is a variable so we're done with the coding part of our application now it's time for us to put the application to test doing here is that i'm adding all the needed data into the add teacher add class and add student form we can test the application now i'm adding data into the add student form it's time for us to do the same for the add class form as well we'll assign the class to a teacher and we'll add students now it's time for us to take the attendance here we are able to select students and we can also deselect them and then click on submit and we have taken the attendance we can see it in the attendance report and the attendance report can be shared with students and parents the attendance report can be shared by clicking on the export button in the right hand side of our application. It can be shared in various formats such as spreadsheet, PDF, HTML, etc. You can also share the attendance report by clicking on the share button on the right hand side of our application. It is also possible to add more bells and whistles to our application by adding a subject field or setting up a mail notification like we did in the volunteer and education management applications. Theme of the application can also be changed as Zoho Creator is compatible across devices. You can use the application on tablets, phones and laptops. So we have done building our attendance management application. If you want to take a look at an attendance management application with much more features, please take a look at the app gallery page of Zoho Creator. Also, don't forget to subscribe. Thank you.